puts on a competitive grin, you might call it her mean mug. And her facial expressions have nothing on her fast hands at the helm. It's fun. The cheering crowd is not lost on this nine-year-old girl. You got it. Peyton Reese is not even double digits, and she's competing with the Chesapeake Cowboys, who entertain the crowd with extreme docking skills on working boats. You get a good feeling. You get a rhythm. Yep. Peyton's dad, Ronnie Reese, has a marine construction business, so Peyton has been on a boat since the day she was born. This is kind of a me and her thing. You know, we're, we're, we're really tight. Any day that she's not in school, she's with me on the boat. In the winter time, they go out oystering, and she's been known to bring back bushels of crabs. Made her deal a couple years ago. I told her she could catch, she could keep what she catches, and I think the first day she had three bushel, and I, I thought, oh, I didn't know this was going to happen, and then I think the next day she had five bushel, so I had to kind of cap her off a little bit or else I wasn't going to make a day's work. If she beats 40 seconds, she beats her band. I think she's got it. She got to show off during Waterman's Appreciation Day at Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. She was pretty good. The event drew 2,600 people from as far as Kansas to St. Michael's to celebrate the Bay's watermen. They are the epitome of the cultural heritage of the Chesapeake Bay. Alex Johnston is the owner of Harris Creek Oyster Company and a member of Talbot County Watermen's Association. Most of the dollars that come into this event are going to the Watermen's Association, which helps out any waterman that's working in the county. Somebody falls on hard times, you know, that money's there to help them out. The president of Chesapeake Cowboys says they also raised over $5,000 for a cowboy who was just diagnosed with cancer. His name is Danny Hadaway on the hard to handle, so uh, we're going to do a little thing for that. And that's what we're all about. We've helped fire companies, we've helped people who've been burnt out of houses, and uh, these guys are all for it. Here we go, Sydney Hughes. Also on the hard to handle, Sydney Hughes, the first woman to compete with the Chesapeake Cowboys, which is now in its 12th year. Peyton is the second. It's nice to see some other, another female picking it up. Because, I mean, most girls want to go shopping and everything else, and me and Peyton want to go for jet ski rides and go to work, go on the boats and everything. I don't want her just to fall into a category of a normal girl. She can do anything. Here he comes, make some noise for everybody. Her mom, Jackie Reese, says she cries happy tears when she competes. To see her do things that grown men can't do is just, it's unbelievable. Not only females, but the younger generation has gravitated to the Chesapeake Cowboys more in the past five years. Speaking of grabbing their attention at a young age, the boat docking contest with the Chesapeake Cowboys is only one part of Waterman's Appreciation Day. Kids here are learning how to build and sail a boat. Right on in there, look at that. Nice little splinter there. And Peyton gonna put the hoops on there. Peyton pulled a smooth move and didn't toss the rings during the team competition. That way she would beat her dad. She will learn from the bumps and bruises just like the grown up she's competing against. Peyton Reese still finished in fourth place for small boats, which are less than 39 feet long. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello. Stops it all down. One, two, three.